Hello, welcome to BioGrade TV. If you're new here, please subscribe and turn on the notification so you don't miss our next video. Major Cultural Practices of the Kikuyu People Back in the days, the ancestors of the Kikuyu people arrived in Kenya and settled on the slopes of Mount Kenya where they met with the Gumba people from whom they learned immensely. The Gumba people were mainly hunters who made pottery, iron and also dealt in honey and honey products. It was from the Gumba people that the Kikuyu people learned the art of smelting and iron making. As the Kikuyu people increased in number, they dispersed to various parts of the communities around the slopes of Mount Kenya. The people of the Kikuyu tribe associate themselves with the Bantu ethnic group that is native to central Kenya. They are also found in Tanzania. With a population of over 8 million people, the Kikuyu people constitute over 17% of the entire population of Kenya. Kikuyu is derived from the Swahili word Gikuyu. Gikuyu is a Mukuyu word which means sycamore fig. They are also called Gikuyu or Agikuyu and they speak the Gikuyu language which belongs to the Bantu subgroup of the niger Congo language family. Marriage in the Kikuyu tribe entails a young man finding a suitable woman, speaking with her, then approaching her family. The parents of the intending couple then meet to talk, exchange gifts and determine if they are a suitable match. After they agree on the compatibility of the couple, the fathers of the couple, as well as elders of both families, will then meet to drink locally brewed beer and negotiate the bride's wealth, which could be paid as sheep, goats, or cattle. In the Kikuyu tribe, a man is allowed to marry as many wives as he desires and can provide for. A traditional Kikuyu wedding ceremony is usually a joyous feast with lots of singing, dancing, and merry-making. Their firstborn sons are named after their paternal grandfathers, while the second sons are named after the maternal grandfather. The third sons, on the other hand, are named after the oldest paternal uncle, while the fourth sons are named after the oldest maternal uncle. Kikuyu daughters are usually named the same way as the sons. Their nuclear families consist of a husband, a wife or wives, and children. The Kikuyu people are quite musically inclined. They use musical instruments like the drums, which they call kihembe, the small rattles called njingiri, large rattles called kigamba, the horn called koro, and the flute called muturiru. All of these are used in Kikuyu celebrations. The Kikuyu people believe that there is only one God, which is why they believe in an omnipotent God who they refer to as Ngai. They offer sacrifices to Ngai under a sycamore tree called Mukuyu. If there is no sycamore tree nearby, a fig tree called Mugumo would be used. They consider the olive tree Mutameyu a sacred tree for women. Medicine men, traditionally called Mundumugo, were super powerful people in the Kikuyu community. The people would consult them for healing, cleansing, and inquiries about the future. These medicine men had numerous guards and among them is a highly important one which is the divination god called Muano. This god was held in high esteem because it contained a medicine used to heal the sick. 
with a long neck and a decoration of woven leather strap with a plant fiber handle, the medicine men would carry this god around on their necks. The Kikuyus are primarily agriculturalists who rear sheep, goats, and other livestock. In the Kikuyu law, it is an abomination for anyone to touch a corpse. It is customary to take a dead body out to a burial ground called a Kibirira. Just before the burial, they would carry out certain rituals to make the corpse fit for its eternal journey. To bury the dead, they would carefully wrap the body and place it facing the homestead. Famous people of Kikuyu origins are freedom fighter Dedan Kimathi, the first president of Kenya, Muzi Jomo Kenyatta (1963–1978), and of course the fourth president of Kenya, Uhuru Kenyatta, among others. What have we missed out of these cultural practices? Let's know in the comment section. Will it be ridiculous to subscribe to our channel? If no, please like this video, share and subscribe to our channel.